So hi. hi. I'm unexpectedly nervous now, so let's make it clear. I need people here with me. I need Lopo. Yes, yes. I need Give David. Yes. Just, just I need David. I need... I'm going to call more people, so don't be sad. I need Diogo. I need Enrique. Jaime. Ah. We need someone else here, but he could not attend. I need my family here also. Maria, Clara, Anna. Ababa. Ah, pois é. <laughs> so, this was where the crazy Elizabeth up here. <laughs> Come on. Carla will not make it. <laughs> yep. This were the crazy people that uh, take from their time, patience, and I think some goodwill to make this possible. I was a really lucky guy the past four days because I was the guy hearing lots of, of um, compliments about how things were going. I have done my best passing it to these guys here and some more that will join us in a bit, uh, but if you want to thank anyone, it's not anyone, it's a team, it's people, it's these guys here and one that's not here now, today. So it's these guys and I'm going to do the Woo! presentation. Carla. <laughs> so, Carla, lots of people were asking me how can we manage to get this venue, this beautiful venue. It was Carla and Elizabeth that believed me not with the shorts, <laughs> and Jaime, like in more than a year ago, two guys went here, say like, we have a wonderful idea, we want to bring lots of people here, this place is beautiful, we love Sintra, we love the, the auditorium, so we want to put everyone here, and that's it. And we waited for one, two, three months, but then, it was a yes, yes. <laughs> and then all things started, okay? I'm going to try to show you a bit how this all went out from not the beginning, but well, we'll figure out. So, I, I'm going this way. I think I can do it. I don't know if I can see the slides from here, but I don't need them. So there's the easy part. And this talk is expensive specially preparated for the crazy guys that want to do the 2020. I don't know yet who's gonna be, but I'm available from this, not this minute, not tomorrow, but Tuesday, okay? <laughs> Tuesday, you can start ping me from a very gentle, like a Raspberry Pi, okay? Gentle, but you can ping me and I think all the others so that we can help and share what, with more detailed, uh, um, what we have done here. So the easy part. And the easy part was like providing a nice website. Thank you WordPress and the event templates 
that make all the magic happen. We just have to fill the blanks. And uh, we have a, a website. We have an email account. It's easy. Who, does, who doesn't have one? Right? Then some Trello boards. Trello is not the important part, but you can. we need something to put tasks on people and to make some due dates. Several Telegram groups. Thank you, Telegram, for being on everybody's, almost everybody's <laughs> telephone, okay, and helping. We need to make some meetings, so Mumble Server was also helpful and on the easy part. And we managed to get something called pre-talks that manage all the call for papers, the scheduling, the mass spam emails that all the speakers got. So I'm sorry for that, but it was needed. Uh, and that's it. This is the easy part. Well, we are more or less capable of doing this. Then the not so easy part. And the not so easy part was writing nice content. WordPress has the backend and the nice template, but we need content nice content to be there. And it was not so easy to provide nice content to the website. Finding a super, not just a core team, but a super core team. Crazy, lots of crazy guys on the other side. And it was not complicated, but was not the easy part also. So that, then waiting for talk submission. We open the call for papers, that's easy. Waiting for call submissions, it's not that easy. Are people going to submit? Are, going people, are people going to submit on time? That was not so easy. And getting partners, okay? We were, uh, our partners were most, most appreciated, the tap and the chalet and the free coffee. And it's not hard, but it was, not the easiest part also. And providing the cultural activities before and after, it's going to be a surf session after lunch. It was not the easiest part and it's mostly that guy's fault, okay? It was your guide for the people that attend the pre pre Ubucon activities and then the legal partner for the receipts, for the tax stuff, the things that we are not used to taking care of. And we want to thank Ansol. It was not the first time, but thank you. Wonderful job. And the hard bit. It's easy to do this. Assuring the venue. I already explained that part. It was hard because we are just two guys talking to some idea and people need to believe us. Gathering a bunch of volunteers. I don't know how we can manage to get some, some, so much, but they were arriving this morning. What can we do to help? I'm a volunteer. In the last day, in the last hours, there were volunteers keep showing up. And the best sponsors, we don't need too much money to do this, but we want all of you to go well-dressed back home with a nice t-shirt and some swag for all the people that want and use and love swag. We have beautiful swag. The designer from the, the, the shirt and the pins and from mostly everything was here I think yesterday and today also, Friday. Well, he was here taking some pictures because he loves photography also, taking some pictures and then left. I didn't have the opportunity to show him around or to get him here, but he deserved uh, some, some appreciation also. And some difficult part, I don't know if we have of organized conference, but scheduling talks, it's a really, really hard thing to do because people don't, are not available at all times. 
we need to, to check which people is suitable to be on the room A or the room B or the room C, and it's a really hard thing to manage. And thank you, David. I was a really smart guy. Two weeks or three, I think, before the, the, um, the Ubucon, I passed that part that I don't want to think about the schedule, so it's his fault, the scheduling. Okay? He and Gustavo is not here. But it's a really hard thing, and I, I thank David for that. And managing the conference days. Managing the, all the things that happening in four rooms, plus all the other things that we need to manage, and the filming, and the lots of things, everything. It was turned out to be really easy, the last one, because of the amount of volunteers that show up to help. Every presentation like this needs numbers and some pie charts. So forget about the pie chart because I get it from the internet. <laughs> Yesterday, the number of attendees were 250. Why are you laughing about 250? It's a good number. <laughs> I know, never mind. We had 46 speakers, I think 45 because we, uh, 46, it's the number. I don't know how many volunteers, but it's this part of the presentation that I'll, I will call all the volunteers up here with us, please. It's now, volunteers, everyone with the yellow badge or the dingo. But for me. Can someone get the volunteers that are not up here, please? Can someone Martha is up there. <laughs> and there's. I don't know how to count tweets with hashtags, so if uh, someone can do it for me, I will edit this slide, but it was plenty of them. We yesterday show up in the news on the local, uh, a local very well-known blog, technology blog, and that uh, they, they were interested on the Ubucon and they actually came here. I don't know how is it in the other conferences, in the other countries. In Portugal, it's really hard to get people on spot, on place, in a community event. So they were actually here, and they were... Ask for some translation platform to translate the text. I, was, I, will, I shared it yesterday, I don't know where. But have someone translate it to you or some volunteer that wants to translate it to English and so that we can share because it was a nice, a really nice um, article about Ubucon. And this is the worst part. Photos and videos uploaded. Just 188. Was that folder, the wall, the wall of fame that I was showing you was showing that you were really bad students on this part for everyone in the brew pub. So please don't do all at the same time, but keep uploading your photos because it's going to be available for quite some time. And it's really hard when we are promoting uh, Ubucon and convincing people that we are really nice guys to, if we don't have really nice photos, it's harder to do it, so it's important, not just for memories, but for uh, next organizers also. Okay, so first link is for uploading, second link is for downloading. You need to upload first, okay? It's all in the info page, you don't need to. Just scan the QR code, we love trees. 
So the best parts, what made us very happy. The amazing staff from Olga Cadaval and Musa, thank you. <laughs> the absolutely awesome attendees, you, you all. I was really worried about the paintings and the carpet and some other things that could went wrong. But from day one to day two to day three, everybody was saying that we were not the, the best, but one of the best audiences they got here. So we as all as attendees are uh, um, all... Um, really should be happy about it also. The high quality speakers, the best part of a Nubucon is the always and the social events. But we need talks to justify wanting out of home and flying. <laughs> so the high quality speakers helped on that part. Where are they? All the speakers were gone because they don't stand up, they don't wave arms, nothing. Oh, there's one there, oh. There's the speaker. <laughs> one great thing, and this is something that we did that worked really nice and that people can uh, continue doing, is have really big gaps between talks because that helped us a lot not stressing out. When a talk is uh, starting late, we can uh, do it, the, the, the compensation on the gap. And if it's everything going on time, we have more time for coffee or for talking or for something else. So it's, this is really smart of us all to do and work really nice. The super powered volunteers, I don't know where you came from, all of you, but thank you. You make this work and you were the most important part of this, in my opinion. The sponsors and the partners also, and then the slides with the sponsor and the... Okay, okay. Ubuntu, what else? Then our gold sponsor, Ansol, Angle Solid, Libertrend, where is Luis? Okay, there. My sequel. The partners. Now the worst part, what could we have done better? <laughs> nah, okay, so where did we fail? We failed contacting all the organizations and the partners and the sponsors because we contacted them all too late. It was just like 12 to nine months um, before the, the conference. And one thing we've learned is that every institution needs to be at least first contacted the previous year before the last months of the year, like in September of the previous year. So we are now in October. We have to figure out a place to make Ubucorn next year. And we need to start contacting the possible partners, sponsors, uh, at this time, in our opinion. Uh, small details are important too. We figured out on Wednesday that we needed things so simple as 12 HDMI cables. <laughs> or five of these. Because we weren't having a laptop that's already with a keyboard and a touchpad, so we did something to do stuff. And we needed this. 
please find a good copywriter for the content for the website and the social media and so and try to find someone that's not passionate about Ubuntu because that way is going to be focused on making the text and the publishing and the coverage and not trying to attend the talks that he wanted to, to, to attend. <laughs> when we make the content, try to reach other people. The best, the, 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 the most common uh, feedback, bad feedback that we got was that we usually communicate in a tribal way. We communicate to other people attending other Ubucons or that already know Ubuntu or that sub for somehow knows what's an Ubucon. We need to review this and, and try to uh, write something explaining and think about the basics also. We, we need to reach out to people that don't uh, know what's Ubuntu, don't know what's an Ubucon and want to come for the first time. It's really important. Oh, it, this one breaks my heart. <laughs> when using logos, lessons learned, always check with the owner of the logo before printing or publishing. We had two issues with two logos. One before printing, too easy. You just need to edit and republish. One before after printing. So we have to reprint all the badges that you carry now. I'm not going to, to say who, which logos were, but believe me, were two. All the logos were re... No, that's the right badges. Don't find it. It's perfect now. <laughs> but we were printing the badges and the big, the big poster outside, all with at least one week ahead. And from Tuesday to Wednesday, we managed to reprint all the badges, all the, in the poster. Fortunately, the rest of the signage weren't carrying any logos. Okay, smart decision. Okay. And this is the big surprise for everyone here. Always double check everything. Shame on us all. What's wrong with this? I found this is the reprinted poster that you see outside. I have, oh, I've been lying all the time. It's here. I have one similar to this one in my garage with the wrong logo. Look. Don't look. Look. <laughs> no one figured that out. When we changed the logo, something went wrong with the title. Okay, everybody was happy. But there's more. What's wrong here? We are all wearing an error. <laughs> yeah? So please, don't forget to double check everything. I found out these two small issues Wednesday Wednesday evening so it was <laughs> they're like oh let's hope that no one finds it and we did I was showing you this so you never noticed nothing but please double check okay so for the people that we uh, will be organizing 2020. What can we provide? Because we thought about the difficulties we had when we start doing things, and we want that other guys don't have the same problems. So what we can provide is 
difficult part. Credentials for all the social media accounts, the Twitters and the Facebooks and the Instagrams. All the coded stuff is on GitHub, or most of it. If it's not, it's going to be. So we can pass that also, we just fork it. And I'm saying that this is, we have there already, Tiago. Yeah. We have there the templates for the presentations in several uh, formats. We have there the, the, the fill the gaps with the next presentation. It was a wonderful job done by Tiago and Gustavo. That's not here. It's also there. You can use it at will. And yeah, OK. The DNS management for UbuConU and .org, it was hard to get there. You can pass that also. And some, after Tuesday, some extra time to help the next logo, local organizing the next UbuCon Europe. Plus, we, we have all the talks videos recorded. And I say this with like, some uh, not 100% confident. Files sometimes get corrupted, so <laughs> I will wait for the 100%. <laughs> okay, so we have all, maybe not all with the best audio quality, but it's going to manage to be assisted. And that was a really smart decision for us, volunteers and organizers, to keep focus on organizing and volunteering so that we can be really uh, calm, knowing that everything is going to be recorded and that we can assist that after attend, not attend, it's assist, yeah. yeah. It's the right word, assist, afterwards. And this don't depend only on me, but I, I believe that we can do that. It's provide all the slides from all presentations. We have the speakers all received an upload link to provide the templates. You do it on PDF or ODP or LaTeX, whatever you use. Okay, I think PDF is the best for for us to publish it on the website. But you you are uh, free to use which, whichever uh, format you want. And please, this is a personal request. Uh, we made, uh, for us to assure that you all get a t-shirt, even though we uh, informed all the guys that, all the attendees that didn't register before, after the uh, some date, I don't know what date was, uh, that we cannot um, guarantee the swag and the t-shirt, we made double the number of the the t-shirts, the wrong t-shirts that so <laughs> that were registered that day. So we can provide one one for my. They didn't register, so I can provide one shirt for each member of my family here today. Thank you. And there are several more t-shirts in. I think the where is Marta? They are already there. When you go out, you can serve yourselves. Take one, two, three. Okay. Take care of the extra luggage, but it, that's your problem. We have also some dingo shirts there that you can grab if there's your size. And the second part is the most important for me. My garage is the official storage house for the Ubuntu PT uh, swag. So please, please go buy all the hoodies left and the cock shirts because I need my garage back. <laughs> okay? So please do that. Grab some free shirts and buy one also. Okay? And thank you, thank you very much. Did I miss something? No more. Till next year.
Okay? Safe return home to everybody. Ah. See? Done. So.